everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Rickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back with the Fears to Fathom series. This is episode three, and we need no introduction for this series. I feel like I'm a little harsh on it because I always want to like do what I would do, but these are people's stories. These are what happened to them, and it's really daunting. So every time I'm critiquing, keep in mind that I'm just as a gamer trying to be like, get out of here, like let's do something. But it's by no means a slant or a slight on anybody who was actually living these stories because when you're in the real time and you don't know what you're going to do, there are also a lot of really young people as the protagonists in these games, of these stories. So keep it in mind with a little bit of jest there, all right? This is the Carson House. It is about an 18-year-old who is house-sitting for a media personality. Um, I believe he's the son of a realtor and was trying to do his parents a favor or something like that. I heard that this game brings up the scares in a big way, so I'm very excited to get into it, so let's just do it. Episode 3, Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like it was yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part in my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. My dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky about where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. The big space there makes me nervous. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're in a little laundromat to start. This is a little different. As a complete side note, it's cool to see their games like improve all over time in like control and length and story. They get more elaborate. Like the first one was so short and this one is supposed to be about an hour, I think. I think it's just really cool. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's creepy. All right, is there anything around here at all? Doesn't look like it. Nothing I can do with the vending machines. I don't say anything at the bottom, I'm just like, what, what are you doing? All right, I guess down we go. Employees only. Is this my my side job or something? Oh. Ho, 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 ho. <sighs> this is something. Oh. Oh, it's a dream. Oh no. There's something behind me. Why am I sprinting? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's going off tone too. It's creepy. Is there another per bleach? What? Excuse me? Where did you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put what? Who are you? Where is bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach! <laughs> uh. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. You were dreaming about bleach. Noah, wake up. Oh, it's our dad. Hi, dad. 
Look, you get another person. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? I got this, Dad. Yeah, I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. <laughs> I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. <laughs> I mean, is there anything else to be in it for? Do you need anything else from me? Not really. Alright, then what are you waiting for? Scram. <laughs> yes, Dad. I will. I will scram. I got my math notebook, it looks like, in the corner there. Okay. Bye, Dad. I hope nothing horrible happens. Okay. Well, this is a cool neighborhood. We got a lot of houses. And this... This is the house. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> get in the view. <laughs> That's the house. Oh, my lord. The music is not helping. It was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, it looks real, cr real nice. I mean, the music's were creeping me out, but you know. So we can't open the door, I'm assuming, because the door is locked, but we need the fake rock that's in the backyard. Backyard we go then. Oh man. So ominous. I go back here. This way. How many doors are out of this place? All right. Oh, it's so active. Is that the fake rock? Good dog, good home. Always a good thing. Fake rock? Where's the dog? They take the dog for the, oh, there's, is that a dog? <gasps> it is a dog. Hello. Hi, buddy. Can I give you a little pet? <laughs> he just whines, okay. Can I feed you? Throw it. Empty can of food. Oh, can I throw it? <laughs> He's passed out. He's like, yeah, leave me alone. Uh, little dog, do you know where the fake rock is? They said backyard. I don't currently see any fake rocks. I think it's that. No? By the old dog house. Oh, this. Fake rock with a key. I feel like that's like the least good place to put them now because everybody has fake rocks. Like most people I think put it under their doormat or under a fake rock. I just feel like too many people know about those things so like they could use it, you know what I mean? All right, in we go. Shut that door, wish we could lock it. What does that say? Do not disturb for any reason. Okay, don't know why that's up, but I had to pee. I, I guess I do. Is this, oh, 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 no, no, that's a no. We're gonna go find the bathroom in this gigantic ass house. This is the kitchen, what is this? Ah, the bathroom. Ow, I shut the door myself. I really had to pee. I'm going. Oh, I'm, I am peeing. Quite literally. How you guys doing? I really had to pee. I guys couldn't wait. I know it should be private, but you know. I was done with it. <laughs> Put that shit down. We're a good guest. Can we wash our hands? 
We can't wash our hands? What the fuck? Don't touch your phone after... Evelyn Cooper. Uh, let's read the top. Alright. This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Eh, ma'am, I'm reading up. Our, I'm catching up on our history, alright? And then I guess I called. I said, pick up. I really wish you would come tonight. Oh, so many things are happening. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid... Ma'am! Ma'am! Is that the dog? I want to read! Why does, th why does this one affect this one? If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks of me. Rolling on the floor laughing. I think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyway, you've got some you've got some making up to do here. The garage next weekend, wink wink. 100%, 100%, wink wink. A little smiley face with a heart. We're all happy. This little baby. Oh, she sent cat pictures. Oh. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. Oh, I know, right? This just had this weirdest dream ever. Okay, so maybe girlfriend or friend. Um, and then what's Mr. Roy Carson blowing up our phone for? Thanks for taking him the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm really sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. No problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. He's my dad. Uh, I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Your lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. <laughs> I'm right on it. Why the basement? Oh, why can't I wash my hands? Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just wrecking this man's house. You can count on me, sir. I'll take good care of your house. I will clean nothing. I will grab everything and chuck it across the... <laughs> it disappears. Okay. Uh, well, apparently I'm just nasty, so I'm gonna leave, I suppose. And why is dog food in the basement? Oh, I can pick up a lot of things and throw it. <laughs> Can I wash my hands in the kitchen? Is that a thing? Nope. Okay, basement it is. <laughs> Why the basement? <laughs> if it weren't for the puppy. The basement was a little too dark. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god. Is there a light on? Do I have a light? Oh, this is creepy. Oh, sir. Oh, I almost forgot. I apologize for the lights in the basement. You can grab a flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Thank you for telling me that while I was down here shitting my pants. Okay, where is the storage room? Oh, okay. I'm closing all of the doors, by the way, because last time... They were opening and closing doors. Oh, we still have this, do we? Good. We were opening and closing doors, and, you know, some of them were opening. I realized this house was way bigger than ours. No shit. That's a bedroom. That's a bathroom. That's a storage room, I think. Flashlight anywhere? Hey! Nice! This got a whole lot more horrifying. Thank you! G to throw, F to use. I like the little name scribbled on it. <laughs> 
Is there any stalkers outside? I hear cars. It's all so... So normal. Ugh. We're gonna, shit's gonna get real and I'm gonna be like, Why are you doing the things that you're doing? I never mean to be so harsh, especially when it comes from a true story, but I always just want to save, you know, save ourselves. Fuck me. We better not come back down here when shit gets real. Is that dog food? Who keeps their dog food in the basement? Why is it in the kitchen? Is that dog food? Is it dog food? I genuinely can't tell. Yes, it's dog food. Ugh. Mm-hmm. And it's such a slow, ominous burn, you know? Just here, hanging out. Uh, what do I do with said dog food? I'm assuming I put it in the dog bowl. Was it over here? Yeah, it was over here. Oh. Hello, doggy. Oh, you know what? Fuck that noise. <laughs> I learned my lesson last time, although they came in when I was eating my lasagna or whatever. I had to pour it in the dog bowl. I had to open the can. Oh. We're getting real manual up in this bitch. He's a very sleepy doggy. Uh, do we have a can opener? Can opener? Ah, oh, there we go. Is that not a can opener? <laughs> oh, there you go. Throw that. Can I take this back? And then grab that. There we go. Open dog food. Hurrah! Shut the damn door. It ain't gonna help one bit, but it helps my feelings. Put that in there. Have some food. I feel bad that you have to be outside in the cold. Okay, good boy. Can I clean up the other one? No. The sounds, I don't like them. Can I throw this? Is there a trash? There we go. Shit. <laughs> I have the wussiest throw. Jesus. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna go get the other one. Mr. Carson, I'm trying not to litter your house. Good boy. I don't want you to hurt yourself on this can. Dogs will play with anything. Can we, can we, can we? Yeah! Yeah, that one, yeah. First try. Text message. Hey kid, heard from Walter. You're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, you got a whole security system set up here? That's a weird question. In case I break in. Uh, so he wants us to fix the computer. Oh. I have a lot of expensive equipments laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Smiley face. Thanks, kid. Do you have to call me a kid? I am 18. Where is the computer? Is it upstairs? That's the bathroom. My lord, this house is humongous. What are these rooms? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got a little photo studio. Nice. Pretty much have one of these. What's rail? It's too lazy to model the garage. Do you see the bottom? <laughs> Thanks, kid. L. Carson5387. That's the uh, username, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's also upstairs. 
this the bedroom this was the bathroom this was the creepy storage closet that I'm probably gonna have to hide in this is another bedroom mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes ew is that a clock I'm just gonna what is this oh my god I'm not letting go of this flashlight. Close that. I hate that. There's so many doors. Couldn't open it from here. Bunch of crap in the corner. Oh, a laundry room. Don't let me in here. I have a fear of bleach. Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, wow. This is huge. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Are we not going to fix his computer? These are humongous. These look like servers. Wow. I don't know. Can't tell if this is like a fax machine or a copy machine. Very industrial or like uh, office. I mean, it's kind of generic electronics from here, but it looks cool. That is very expensive shit, though. You you gotta know. Um, all right. But aren't we supposed to fix his computer? Ah. Um. Oh. A. L. Carson five three eight seven. Ale Carson five three eight seven. Welcome. Wow. I net <gasps> a critical error. Oh, shit's completely broken. How do we fix it? Have you tried turning it off again and turning it on? Free trial for a limited period? No, absolutely not. A guide to being a better person. <laughs> In this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. <laughs> Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. Being an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, Enjoy some happy images. I don't know this how, how this covers on being a, a better person, but okay. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is not to let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. Guide to being a better person brought to you by all of these people. Good job. You all are screwed up people. Uh, can I put that back in the in the trash? Critical error? How do I fix it though? Can we control all delete and get into... Do they really want me to click on this? Protect your computer as if it was your own. Your children catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. Get full protection. If this is just sitting here, you don't want to click on this, but okay. Fix clean and speed up your PC okay I feel like this is gonna make it worse 
We haven't verified that antivirus 96 from the search engine is a legit application. Welcome to Antivirus 96. Virus definition up to date. Malware protection is on and your firewall is on. Perform a full scan, I guess. We're putting our life with this antivirus. Threats found. Three. Oh boy. Rainbows. Mr. Carson, you had a lot of viruses and shit on your computer. You weren't practicing safe searching history. Ooh. Yep, Trojan. Hi, Risk. Remove that shit. <laughs> Threats removed. Hurrah, you're protected. Good. Can I click on all the other crap now? Guess the flag. Oh my god, this is great. Norway. Next. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. What country is this flag? Oh. I think. Yeah, baby. I don't know this one. Oh, uh, shit. I want to say... Woo! Ooh, ooh, yeah, I don't know that one. Hey! I'm digging the music though, I just gotta say. I use a complete guess. I think it's that one. New Zealand. Yep. Uh, this is Turkey. That one I know. This one is Algeria. Ah, there we go. Oh, Japan. Know that one. I think Denmark. Oh, I think this is Belgium or Lebanon. Oh, they're all blending together. Go with the gut. Yeah. I think it's this one. Oh, bitch. Cuba or P? I think it's Cuba. This is the star. I think it's Argentina. Oh, shit. Sorry. And this goes on for some time. We did that one. Um. Tanzania. Okay. All right, we could be here all night <laughs> trying to do this. I got a lot though. I got a bunch. Um, not as terrible as I thought it would be. What's this egg thing? Nope. Okay. CD burner. No can do. Okay. What's this security system? <gasps> oh, this is a cool. Oh. This is really cool, but also horrible at the same time. Oh ho. Where's Doggy? There he is. He's eating his food still. Because I was playing the flag game. That's not gonna be creepy at all. Okay, I fixed the computer. I did have to do schoolwork, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. Okay, then what do I do? Why is there a light on in here? Aren't they supposed to do like chores and stuff? Hello. My name is Cora. Welcome to the Nostrock. Nah, none of that. I'm good. I don't, I don't know what fever dream I walked into, but not good. You know what I mean? What do I do? Where do I go? Am I going to get murdered if I open the front door? Shut that shit. Can I make some food? Did I? leave that open maybe I should probably leave all the doors open oh it's so much creepier without the cool flag music 
Am I supposed to make some food? What's going on? Oh, turn the oven on. Food, nothing. Okay. Um, oh, I texted Mr. Carson. Uh, it's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you download softwares from only trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. And then uh, Evelyn answered us. We said, I had the weirdest dream ever. What was it about? Just reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You got to watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. Ah, is that what I got to do? Go watch TV? I'm here to watch TV. What else do I do? Oh yes, I have to turn on the TV first. There we go. Hello. Welcome to Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking cat food. Cat food. I love me cat food. It's on. Are you watching? Cat food. It's my favorite dish. Doesn't that just look delicious? Yes. We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. Are we gonna cook cat food? Listen to the sizzle. sizzle. What am I watching? Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Okay, that's not. Okay, now while that's cooking, Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. milk. How could I guess? Start, we pour the milk into the glass. Why? Into the mill. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets dark Look outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Just groceries. Ranch, nice. strawberry jelly. Okay, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Finished cooking. We can finally serve it. This looks amazing. Time to eat. Cat Chat will be right back after this short break. Well, that was disturbing as fuck. The hand no. <laughs> no hand merchants. No, I'm done. We're done with the weird fucking TV. I hate these ads. I gotta go grocery shopping. Fuck off. Evelyn Cooper. And oh, his nightstand, he said, right? I need the stairs. I know I should probably stay and watch the TV, but I really... The... Between this TV... Not this TV... You guys remember the other TV and the weird... Is this his bedroom? Yes. Between the weird TV and the other TV... I could watch the TV downstairs. Okay. I've got cash. Going to get groceries. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. So we need ranch, strawberry jelly, choco spread for Alec, milk and eggs. What about milk and cardboard? Uh, garden peas, honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only. Ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs. You can take Alex's bike. It's in the garage outside. Okay. Is this horrendous thing still on? I buy some hands. I have nice hands. Hello, I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. Don't have hands? I'll give you hands. Got too many hands to handle? I'll take them. I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. What? Got too many fingers? <laughs> I'll take them. Not enough fingers? I'll give you more fingers. People love hands. Yeah, alright, we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna move on from that. Hope I locked the door. T 
too lazy to model the garage. Where's the bike? Outside the garage. It's somewhere here then. There it is. Taking the bike. We're being, oh, we can bike. Wow. Rail, look at you, buddy. Where do I go? I kind of drive like a drunkard. There we go. Where is the store? <laughs> it's a little hard to drive, but I'll take it. I'm assuming I have no idea where it is. I'm just going in any direction. I assume it'll take me to the store. Or do I just drive off into oblivion? 9.22 p.m. Oh, good. Is it Chilla's convenience store? Nux. It looks more like a 7-Eleven than a grocery store, but... I'll get off. <laughs> I'm gonna take this whole parking space for myself. <laughs> it's a good way to get your bike fucked up. Hello. All right, I need choco, no, choco spread. If I was in a Chilla's art game, I'd be suspicious of anybody here. Spicy ricey, but we want Uncle Tony's only. We need milk and eggs. Don't forget the milk and eggs. Milk, got milk. It's fucking blinding. Eggs. Eggs. Do I put it in a basket? What are you doing? There we go. That's better. Alright, let's repeat that. Look at. Um, I'm just shopping. Haha, <laughs> okay, son. What is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh. Okay. Uh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Milk. I don't know where it is. Excuse me. Eggs. Rice. But we want Uncle Tony's rice. Hell yeah. <laughs> get, get in the get in the thing. Okay. Got milk and eggs. We did not forget the milk and eggs. We got the rice. We need ketchup. Oh, what is that? I think it's shampoo. I need Choco. Speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, dude. She brought, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. <laughs> Ew, I think she's more like a goth. Goth milf energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? House sitting for the Carson guy. You mean Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Uh, whatever fills my pocket. Alright, dude, see you at school on Monday then. See you around. You guys are weird. Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. Yeah, he acts like it, doesn't he? He was also very popular for his douchebag pranks. He'd pull on other kids. Low key, I didn't like the guy, but I didn't hate him either. <laughs> is this ketchup? Yes, it is. Got ketchup. Get it in my cart. Where's the mustard? For that lady. Ah, it's up there. Can I give it to her? Lady. What the fuck? Hello. 
Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Could you get me one too? I was gonna give it to you. Oh, son of a bitch. I got mustard for myself then. Uh. Holy moly's. Honey, garden peas, chocolate spread, jelly. Honey? I think that's chocolate spread. Strawberry jelly? Ranch? A lot of condiments. Oh no, I didn't mean to grab that. Peas! Nice. Should I bill all that for you? Mr. Carson didn't have any money for me to buy extra stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Oh no, all my shit's falling out. Okay, I need that. 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 Oh no, I don't need that. Where's the honey? There it is. Yes, please. Got it. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. Great. Can I get the mustard for the lady? Oh, son of a bitch. I think I... Oh no, I can't do it anymore. The mustard's right there, lady. There's also one right there on the floor. Can I get it for her or no? Oh, I can't get it for her anymore. Okay, that's sad. I'm sorry. With a bike. Got a bike with my groceries. All right, we're going home. I'm sorry, lady. I dropped it on the floor for you. I hope you can pick up what I literally put down. All right, we gotta drive back home in a wobbly fashion with our groceries. Don't spill anything, it's very important. Nine forty-six p.m. Quick, that was a quick run. Oh man, is my ex-girlfriend gonna can my house? Is that the deal? I had to pee again and I was starting to feel hungry. Okay. So creepy. Put the stuff away in the kitchen. What do I do with this? Oh shit. Do I just put this down? There we go. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Oh. Oh. Such a noise. Damn it. Don't let her. Perfect. Uh, can't we make some food or no? Why do I have to go pee for this kid? <laughs> for this guy. It's very odd, to be honest. I don't need to see him pee again. Not the basement. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Do we not have a bathroom down here? Yeah, there we go. Yep, just hanging out here, peeing and not washing my hands, not helping old ladies in the grocery market with mustard. You might should check out the color of your pee, sir. I can't wash my hands. Why? Ugh. It drives me crazy. And then he wanted food, right? So Evelyn must be the new girlfriend. 
Can I make something? Oh. Drinking the milk. It's old milk anyway. Uh, I guess I'll go upstairs and do homework then. Just close all the doors. Keep track of the doors. Uh, this way, I believe. At the back. Not the laundry room. Doing homework. Whoa. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Everybody's messages needs to be neat. Uh-huh. Why? Am I spying on my boss? I get to type it. Roy Carson divorce. Co-founder of BN Media claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. That doesn't sound good. Oh, Hunter News. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After this very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for rumored infidelity that underwent within said relationship. That's... The house I'm in. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her, so you know that the reader stays updated about the situation. Oh. How convenient. Can I just do this? We were told not to answer the door by anybody. Doggies in his house. Is that my buddy? Is that like my friend? Someone's at the front door. I couldn't have worked like that. Weren't we told specifically not to open the door by our dad? This is where shit gets real. Of course it was right at the time that I just read that people are gonna confront me. I don't wanna open the door. Yeah, there we go. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium-sized pizza depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium-sized pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be at the wrong address. That's correct. Ordered by the name of... Um, Roy Carson? Nope. I did not order pizza. Open the door, sir. No. He doesn't have pizza. He's a fucking duffel bag. Ugh. Not a good idea. Here. I would text Roy first and be like, did you order pizza to the house? This is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. I'm not sure my dad would like that he's upstairs. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Yeah, no. You have a car, bro. The fuck are you waiting in my house for? Why do I have a pizza? Did I order pizza? If I ordered pizza, could I have let myself know? Thought I could watch some TV while eating. I ordered the pizza? 
I thought we were just getting ourselves something at the shop. Okay, I'll just eat pizza and watch TV then. I wouldn't have been such a dick if I had ordered the pizza. I always do this. I always sit down before I turn on the TV. Pizza time! Oh god, more Channel 10. What is happening? Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Ugh. Roy Carson. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have been suspicious. Now I feel bad. I thought he was like suspicious pizza man. He's gonna eat the whole pizza. Jack. I'm not a fan I'm of these cartoons. You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. Hope everything's okay. Yeah, why haven't I answered my girlfriend? Sorry, I got caught up with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet my dreams. My name is Jack Barnett. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. <laughs> I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? Can I use the bathroom? This game is strangely obsessed with bathroom usage. Oh my god. Can I eat my pizza? I heard someone at the door again. Can you eat the rest of my pizza? There we go. <laughs> I heard- I know I heard a knock at the door. Um... Shit. The knock at the door is very important. Perfect. <laughs> Try not to wreck this man's house. Oh, I really should have turned the damn TV off. Turn that off. I don't see anybody. Who is it? Who is it? I won't ask again. Then I ain't opening the fucking door. F off. I'll go look on the camera. I don't know if that's what they want me to do, but it's gonna happen. Oh, somebody. She left flowers, dead flowers. What was it? It looked like a woman. She went back here. Or this person went back there. Is flowers? I don't see them in here. My poor dog. Damn, turn on some lights. Okay, that was creepy as fuck. Oh man, shit is gonna get so real. And I'm not ready for it. I don't wanna- it's not gonna open. Oh. What are these? I didn't know what to make of it. <laughs> Is there a note or anything on there? She went back here, but I- maybe- but I didn't see anything. Sir, do you send flowers to your own house for some reason? I see nothing. No one. My girlfriend's asleep. We're starting to become alone. What do I do? Homework? Oh. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? <laughs> I say 
I assumed it was a wrong number. Yeah, I would too. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. If they say pizza, I'll shit myself. <laughs> Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Exactly, we're gonna do our homework like a good student. We've eaten food, we've peed, we got groceries. We're trying to be good. Oh shit. It was in the middle of my schoolwork when the power went off. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyway. Todd is so much hotter. Who are you? In that moment, I was almost certain it had to be another prank by Turner. Where's my flashlight? I knew guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy were the only two who knew I was house-sitting alone. Shit, I can't see anything. It is pitch black. Is the flashlight back here? Where's my flashlight? Ugh. Okay, I was looking for a circuit breaker around the house. I didn't find one, so I th the dog's barking, so I think we need to deal with the dog. It was suddenly very cold outside. Well, it is like 1 something a.m. He's at the front? I'm in the pool. What's that beeping noise? What is it, buddy? Ah, there's the... Zeke was acting very weird. You're all right, buddy. Is this the... It's outside. I was looking for the one inside. I turned the power back on. I could tell that someone had cut off the power from the outside. Call the police then! If you can tell that someone sabotaged your power, then call the cops. Or call your dad. <laughs> this is where I go. I would be talking to people and, and trying to make decisions here that would be erring on the side of caution. Um, you said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Ooh, I guess we go and finish our homework. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Yep. <laughs> Shit's getting real. I'd be like calling everybody. The security systems are not gonna help either. Wait. It's all knocked over. So creepy. Is there something else on my doorstep? Is it the dog? Might be the dog. Oh, I hate it. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to be like judgmental of all the people. I feel like I'm super judgy because I'm like, why are you doing this? Do this thing because I want them to be cautious, but. When you're in the moment and you don't know something's wrong, I know something's wrong because it's a horror game. You know what I mean? 
So I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Always safe than sorry. Am I continuing to do my homework? What was that noise? I heard something downstairs. It also sounded like a little knife or something. It's the TV. Oh my god. I could swear on my life that I didn't turn the oven on. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucked. I'm scared. I would take the dog inside. Okay, fuck. Gotta go turn the oven off. I don't want to. I had to go down and check. I mean, of course. And I have no flashlight. Oh, not the... Someone sleeping in my closet? In the storage closet? Or is that the dog? I think it's the dog. It sounded like snoring. I mean, it is snoring, but I think it's the dog. Oh, this is so not okay. Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing that he was in the house. I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact, so I could only ask Andy. Oh my god, he thinks it's Turner. Can you send me Turner's contact and ask him to quit messing? If he's even awake right now, he probably is. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house, this is not cool. He's gonna be like, no, dude, that's not. Dude, he's at my place right now. I attributed all of that to my lack of sleep. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but it started pouring, so he's stuck with the sleepover. I was aware I had a tendency to be overly paranoid. No, dude, you did not turn the air the fucking oven on. I think it's the dog snoring. The only logical thing I could do was keep an eye on what? The cameras? Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Yeah, you definitely should have called the cops. Or your dad. But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... The idea had never even entered my head. Oh my god. Okay, it's just really loud dog snoring. I'm scared. Not not on me. Not on me. <laughs> I'm assuming we do our homework. In that moment, schoolwork became the least of my worries. We check the camera, no? I missed what you said, sir. Oh. <gasps> oh fuck, the door's open. Why don't you lock all the doors? Oh fuck. I'm fuck. Yes, yeah, the dog. They're in my house. This is so bad. We're, dude, wait, did you check out the article? It's Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I can hear them. This is not the time to be... Oh my god. <gasps> They're upstairs! Oh fuck! 
I can help my heart skip a beat. Oh, she's... Is it my ex? Or is it Mr. Carson's ex-wife's fans? Fuck, what do I do? She's out in the hallway. Call the cops, dude. I know if she I open the door I'm going to get killed. Girlfriend. She's whispering my name. Noah. I don't think I'm supposed to open the door. We're gonna get killed. She's in that room. Mm -hmm. oh. She's coming to me. I'm not gonna move this time. I stayed, I tried to like sneak out twice and she caught me both times. So I think I needed to just stay and watch. That's what the, that's what Noah says to do anyway too. So I think I'm just stuck here. She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Please don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you but you always treated me like shit I know everything I know you left me for her I said you need help this is exactly why at least she's not a junkie like you it's different with her I say this is exactly why let's not talk about the other girlfriend but I love you what about that you need to leave we deserve a second chance you know I could turn you into the police for this
quick wish I could turn. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. I'm glad I locked this door and apparently nothing else. I would call the cops right now. If I can't have you, no one else should. Fuck. Text your friends, dude. Call the cops. Text Mr. Carson. Text your dad. Noah. Who? <gasps> I did not open the door. Ugh, I didn't open the door, but I guess you're not supposed to get up. No. Oh shit! Huh? God damn it. I was turning off the oven! There's a knife missing. Oh. So I've also just low key discovered that if you come down too early, then, um, she can kill you. Because I, like, was in the middle of turning off the oven and I was, like, sprinting because I was trying to, like, get back to where we were. And then she killed me all of a sudden. So I think you really have to take your time to, like, look at the camera, make sure she leaves, and then come back. So, I don't know. Maybe that. I could turn you into the police for this. Do it now. Fucking kill both of you. Okay, I think this is the moment that we maybe should leave. I'm gonna try. Shit. Should I have closed the door? If I can't have you... No one else should. She was out of my sight in that moment I had to make a run for. Should I make a literal run for it or just sneak? I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. <gasps> Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough, and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops that she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. You had a knife, bitch! Also, so I realized too that like you're doing your homework and then you do hear the knife. She's taking it out of the knife block in the kitchen. I thought it would be like, oh, like maybe you're just imagining it. No, she like that's where she takes the knife and then turns on the oven and then leaves. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. Thank goodness. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife... But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Oh lord. Oh my god. This was, this was more elaborate than the other ones. Also way scarier. Because they actually like come after you the first one was like scary because you didn't know what was going to happen um and it was short and sweet though and then the second one was like thrilling like you didn't know what was going to happen and every corner felt like something bad could have happened 
Um, and you're more on edge too because it is a horror game. Good job, Rail. I love to see like improving too over time, like episode one, then two, then three, and they're getting like longer and more elaborate. It's very cool. But yeah, it is more daunting because you know it's a horror game, so you know something's gonna happen. Like it wouldn't be a game, we wouldn't be playing this if something didn't happen. They're really um, true to life stories, so it's not like you know the demons are gonna come flying off the shelves or anything like that. Like it, it's genuinely like things that can happen. It's a, it kind of reminds me of like Chilla's art games. Um, but narrated so like you have no choice but to do what they did and of course um, Noah right he's he's right here to say like he's look I've never expected like why would you and then you know the other thing is like you often have an overactive imagination when you're like by yourself especially when you're in a foreign house and you don't know all of the noises that it makes um, you obviously never expect you know your girlfriend an ex-girlfriend to come in with a knife um, but you know there there's definitely you know, when the up when the when the power was cut, and you could tell it was um, done from the outside. And when the oven turned on, lock every door in the house. Like I don't know why she was able to get in so easily. Like she walked right in through the back door or the side door. Mm -mm. All of those doors should have been locked. But it's easy to say from like the outsider's perspective. So I, I want to like emphasize that. Like I'm not trying to shit on any of these people. It's remarkable that they survived. It's incredible that they shared their stories. It's crazy. But I'm always just like, do something. I want I want I want to do something so bad. Um and Fears to Fathom is very particular. It kind of reminds me of like old uh, mystery games on the PC. Like you have to do it in order and you have to do it the way that they want you to. So like if you go to the kitchen too early, you will die. If you open the door, you will die. If you try to sneak out and like rush out while she's having that conversation, you will die. So like you have to like complete the story like the way you want to do it and you have to just sort of like bear with the tension. And I think that's one of the things that makes this game so well done. It sets the tension bar so high because you know something's going to happen and they tell you almost nothing about any of the episodes. And when something does happen, you're like in an absolute like I should do something. and. The gamer instinct in you would want to be like, okay, do something. And then me being a different person than this person, um, I want to do a whole bunch of things. But you have to just kind of sit there and embrace the story and embrace like what is going on. It is really well done and it does a good job of just giving these really short burst chilling tales. And it's all the scarier that they were real stories. So absolutely crazy. I loved this episode. This one I think was my favorite so far because it's more elaborate we had more things um there's little mini games in there which is cool um this is really cool to see this the progression of the series um there's one more left so there's the iron bark lookout um i'm pretty sure jack septic guy voiced a, a character in it i'm very excited about what it's gonna be so if you guys want to check out the iron bark lookout it'll be over here and if you guys are interested in seeing some other scary games that are just as daunting you guys should check out some of the chillest art stuff that i've done on the channel because they're very similar to fears of fathom where it's like kind of realistic ish scenarios and they're all just as freaky so i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll catch you in the next fears to fathom